Brad, you know, when you see that this was only like, as they say, a little grain of sand That's right. when you compare all your field of vision, um, the, and you see so many stars in just that little tiny patch, the whole universe must be absolutely teeming with other stars, other planets. It makes me think that the, charge, the chances are so high that there is some form of life on some other planet. That's right. When you look at all of those galaxies, there's thousands of galaxies, you said, in that little tiny speck of equivalent uh, sand on the sky. And all of those thousands of galaxies have hundreds of billions of stars. And all of those stars have planets going around it. And as you said, that's just one tiny fraction. The James Webb will really show just how big the universe is. And that's one of the other scientific goals. And that data, the rest of the first images and science data, will come out tonight about uh, midnight, 12.30 a.m. Uh, Australian Eastern Time. And one of those, and this is the big science of James Webb, will be to look at the atmospheres of some of these planets around other stars. So we're finding lots of planets around these stars. But one of the big questions is, does it have oxygen or nitrogen? Uh, does it have water? Could it have signs of life? The James Webb will provide the first image of that and through its career be studying these planets to see, yeah, are we alone? So it's not even showing Amazing. that we're probably not alone. It may give us the answer that we're not alone. Brad Tucker, this is just amazing stuff. Thank you so much for your time. Anytime.